Gentlemen, and now Republican Vice President of Kenneth Paul Ryan sat down with Sean Hannity tonight. How do you, how do we really stop the debt from rising? You once told me we had two years to fix it. Well, that's what experts are telling us. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's clear in my mind that the next president of the United States will really determine what this country is going to be like for a generation, for a long time. And we will become like Europe if we stick with the President Obama's plan. We don't want to have that. So there's three basic things you need. You need people to go back to work. You need higher take-home pay. You need jobs and prosperity, economic growth. Number two, you got to cut spending. Forty cents of every dollar we spend out of government today is borrowed money, half of which comes from other countries like China. Number three, you have to reform government programs, our entitlement programs. And the way we propose to reform these government entitlement programs, if we do it now, you prevent anybody who was in and near retirement from having any changes or disruptions in their lives, which is very different than what President Obama is doing. You, you phase in these reforms. Let's talk about foreign policy. You see what's happening in the Middle East, mm -hmm. North Africa. You see the rise of the Muslim Brotherhood now apparently uniting with Iran. Very dangerous right. meeting coming up. Iran, uh, just in the last week, has twice, through their supreme leader and through right. Ahmadinejad, threatened to wipe Israel off the map right. again. Tell us about your foreign policy experience. Well, most of the traveling I've done throughout my 14 years in Congress has been to the Middle East. You know, I've, I've had the votes to send men and women to war um, on more than one occasion. I've been to those funerals. I've talked to the widows and the wives and the parents. I've gone to, to Afghanistan and Iraq to meet with our troops to learn from them. Uh, obviously, I don't use profanity. Like Obama did when he became president. But you, you should not use profanity. President Obama Unless you really is quote unquote leading from behind. This is, he's could be the next vice president. president. Oh, he's outsourcing oh, our foreign God. policy decision making Paul Ryan. to the UN so that You're countries like Russia bet. can exercise their veto power. Over. I don't bet. It, what it is doing is it's giving our allies a, a loss of faith in American leadership. And these, what I call reckless, irresponsible. Well, remember, Joe Biden the result of the once said, leadership as senator, are weakening our that all the girls, young girls of Afghanistan, at a time Afghanistan should it's have very important that we get back to the education doctrine. We have a How, he said they should have education. The when America went well, broke, right the the when America the went broke, the Biden back. said to replace and Farid Zakara, Farid Zakara said Biden pulled back on his big shot claim. We need to make sure that our adversaries I don't tell other men in other cultures what to do with their wives or daughters. We need to get back to the peace through strength doctrine by having a strong military. Would you support Israel if they deem it necessary for the national security to take out? Israel has every right to protect their national security interests in Iran and Iran's nuclear weapon capability is an existential threat to not only Israel, but it's a threat to our own national security. The last thing we want is an arms race in the Middle East. And I really do think that the President's lack of leadership on this issue, his lack of courageous moral support for Israel during this time uh, has brought us to where we are. Going to the UN and, and saying that the, the beginning of negotiations must start with the 67 borders undercuts our ally. Mm -hmm. His references to Bibi Netanyahu with the French President undercuts our allies. And so I think that has done more to distance the peace process and done more to embolden countries like Iran than anything else. All right, your, uh, your counterpart is a guy by the name of Joe Biden. He recently had, well, what I guess you might say his latest gap. Um, they want to put you all back in chains. Your thoughts about Biden? You ready to debate him? And what did you think of those remarks? I enjoy debate. Uh, it's what we do in Congress. So to me, I love spirit of debates about ideas. And I've known Joe a long time. We get along personally quite well. And so I'm looking forward to debating Joe on just your gravitational the ideas. You know, with respect Ryan. to the things he says, these are the things people say when they run out of ideas and solutions. These are the things people oh. say when they have a terrible track record. 1969, 1970, they're not destruction of the mail. Buy a and copy and they're trying to today. Campaign down in Kindle, Amazon, and fear anger and frustration. Be that my hero, get. pal. We're not going to fall for that. I don't think the people of this country are going to fall for that. I think they want to see us get back on top as America. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do that. Time up your last call. One more quick round before we turn down the lights. We've got a new presidential front runner. Who could it be? Stay tuned.